beautiful, gorgeous day in Buffalo when it's at its finest. My name is Idris Wajid. I am one of the four artists from the Freedom Wall. I want to shout out uh, Chuck Tingley, Julia Bottoms, and as well as uh, John Baker, the other three artists. This mural was put up in uh, 2017 in the summer. And if you remember 2017, it, uh, it was probably in the 90s. Each and every day, and there's this, where you see the sun is right now, that's where it was all day on us, bearing down on this wall here. So there's 28 dignitaries, uh, 14 local, as you see, uh, and 14 national. 14 nationally recognized people for the Freedom Wall who stood for human rights uh, and justice and the humanity, you know, humanitarian work. Um, it's a pleasure to have everybody in front of it. Um, it, it, is, it is a landmark now. This wall was been, it was here since 1989. And up until that point, there was weeds and just kind of, you know, people just kind of passed by it to pay no attention. Now you have to pay the wall attention and you have to pay the people on it respect as well. So this is a conversation piece, a great piece of history, and it's a great conversation piece to have about uh, the history, the great history, and uh, people that have contributed to the work done here in Buffalo and the work that needs to be continued moving forward as well. So with that being said, Take a look, read about, the, uh, read about the artists on the wall, read about the dignitaries, read about the honorary wall as well. There's over 300 something names over there. And uh, let's continue the positive movement in this area. And uh, salute, have a safe ride, and I'm gonna pass the mic. Peace. Thank you, Idris. Thank you for your continued support of Slow Roll 2. Now, for the third time this year, but no better place to do it than here, where she is one of the 28 honorees on the Freedom Wall. Please welcome back to Slow Rope, Queen Eva Doyle. Thank you. Um, I want to thank Seamus for inviting me. I think this is the fourth or fifth time. Um, I'm a historian. I'm a retired teacher. I'm a newspaper writer for the oldest black newspaper in Western New York, the Criterion, and I am, it's an honor for me to be on the Freedom Wall. So, <laughs> when you get a chance to come back, I hope you would read the bios. There are bios for each person. I'm just going to point out two. I want to point out William Wells Brown. He was an abolitionist. He spoke out against enslavement. And since we're going to be celebrating July 4th, he was the first person in this country to write a book about the African Americans who fought in the Revolutionary War. And uh, since we are in a presidential campaign, Shirley Chisholm is on the wall. She was the first African-American and the first woman, black or white, to run for president of the United States. And she was the first person to say, I am going to crack that ceiling. It wasn't Hillary Clinton who said it first. It was the Honorable Shirley A. Chisholm. Thank you for and have a wonderful, safe ride. Thank you, Miss Eva Doyle. Now, those of you who are standing in front of these speakers cannot see where Miss Eva is honored on the wall. It's right on the corner. So this wall is 28 long, 28 murals long, and it wraps around the corner. We would appreciate if you would all stay here after the ride when this station will turn into music with DJ Indeed. We'll have food and drinks and fellowship here, and we'll keep the space around the wall open for everybody to take it in. Again, it's commissioned by the Albright Knox art gallery with support from the nfta that's right indeed is dj Mwa. is that m-u-a-h m-u-a-h <laughs> so we're gonna have a good time back here as we said we want to make this an annual thank you for being part of it on the monday nearest to independence day this is how we recognize freedom in buffalo new york now we're about yeah that's right we're, now we're about to get rolling We have a wonderful turnout. We're gonna ride in five minutes. 
And those of you who can hear me who are in this lot, you are not yet in the ride. So you got a few minutes to get in, especially the youngins. I see our junior ride leader coming through. You're gonna go right up to the front. Go all the way to the front. Show of hands, who is slow rolling for the first time tonight? All right, all right, that's nice. Who's here for about the hundredth time? Yeah, we got some regulars. So those of you who have been here before know the drill. Feel free to repeat this to those of, around you who are new to this. We're going to start at 6.30 sharp. We're going to turn north on Michigan onto Maine and head into the Hamlin Park neighborhood on Florida. When we start, it is always the slowest at the start. We want the slowest pace to be up front. So that is your juniors and your joy riders. If anyone is in the back and wants the slowest pace, the slowest pace is actually in the front, especially the kids. You want to get the kids up to the front. We will stop twice. That's called a mass up. That's an opportunity to not only regroup, but to learn a little bit about the neighborhoods that we're in. I'll do my best at our first stop because Mama Charlene couldn't join us. Another Freedom Wall honoree. We will be stopping in her neighborhood tonight at Wollers and Best. Our second stop right before the Michigan African American Heritage Corridor. We'll hear from Valeria Aldrich about the history along Michigan before we ride up there. Once again, the slowest pace is in the front, the fastest pace is in the back, and it is always slowest at the start. So you'll be walking your bike out maybe, it'll be a minute before we're really riding. Stay to the right, leave room on the left for squad. There'll be a bunch of buzzing bees in orange that are looking out for your safety. We're in the front setting the pace. We're at the corners controlling the intersections. We're along the sides keeping everybody right and tight and safe. And we're in the back fixing up any mechanical issues. We need y'all to keep it right and tight. Leave us room on the left at all times so that we can pass. We need you to close the gaps too. When you have a gap going, that means you probably want to move up at the mass up if there's a gap forming in front of you. Just move to the right, let some faster riders pass. And once again, leave room for squad on the left at all times. If you have any mechanical issues, carefully pull over off the street. Our SAG crew in the back will catch up and fix you up and then get you caught up. We also have Independent Health, our presenting partner is up towards the start of the ride, giving away free bike lights tonight. Every first Monday of the month, we have a bike light giveaway courtesy of our presenting partner, Independent Health. If you didn't get one now, we'll still have some after the ride. They provide us with helmets too. Anybody who's here under 14 has to be wearing a helmet. So if you see anyone around you under 14 without a helmet, we gotta get them to that table up by the front where we're also fixing up bikes. So we're leaving in about four minutes. We're gonna turn it back over here to DJ Moi. And let's play some music before we get started. 6.30 sharp, we roll up Michigan Avenue. Thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Slow roll!